So I need her to calm down more. She's still doing that, like, low, like, uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna pick up an exciting object. <laughs> that right there. I don't want it. The object goes away. And so does my eye contact. I don't see Brandy. Ozzy's being chill, relatively. Because her getting amped up will make him nervous, right? We don't want chaotic energy. We want calm energy. Calm enthusiasm is fine. And that sounds kind of counterintuitive. Calm. <laughs> that is not calm enthusiasm. Okay. Not squat is going to come out of that. <laughs> She has to control her energy. She has to. Good girl. Notice I am not saying squat to her. And I know her barking incessantly like that drives you nuts. And that is one of the reasons I am going to just blatantly ignore this dog when she does that. Don't look at her. Don't talk to her. If there's something exciting happening, stop doing it. Within reason. If she's being too obnoxious, throw her in a crate. Put her upstairs where she can't get and be obnoxious in your space. Right? Because her barking like that is going to show him that's totally fine. I don't want my dog to bark at me. Okay? You can talk to me. However, do not bark at me. Do not beg for me. Please don't eat my socks. I'm going to step out of his space when he goes to jump on me. Which just means I'm going to step backwards. She backed off. I like that. Art thou telling me you need to go party? And she was probably expecting me to walk back to that cabinet. I didn't do it, did I? Good. And I'm just showing them, oh, how cute. I'm just showing them the palm of my hand, right? Because this door is not a gateway, right? No. I'm going to crack it open. No one moved. I'm going to push it open a little further. He moved back. That is excellent. Come on. So we can come on out, right? Preventing door dashing and teaching a dog to not just run out of an open door. Come on, babies. I'm going to ignore him. I don't need, I, in fact, I don't even have any treats in my pocket right now. I'm just going to keep my hand. It was instinctual for me to just want to slap that hand in that pocket. I'm going to keep it out of there. Just so that he sees. <sighs> Keep the hand out of the pocket. Um, there's nothing in that hand. And I'm going to walk away from you because you're jumping on me. Out here is where we go potty. I'm just kind of ignoring them, right? Ignoring you is incredibly difficult. And it is. It's difficult to not... It is incredibly difficult to not be super excited when you get home and see your dogs. I am not going to lie. Um, it takes a lot of self-restraint on our part to not be super excited when we get home. Right? One of the ways that we can... Uh, it takes a while, but like as soon as I get home now, I just lay on the floor. The dogs don't jump on me. Right? Right? But if we notice any kind of chaotic, kind of crazy, whack behavior like um, Miss Brandy thing over there, <coughs> barking incessantly at us, ignore that. 
ignore that because I don't like it, right? Good boy. Good party, Ozzy. Good boy, Oz. Good boy. Good boy, Ozzy. Good boy. Good boy. And because, do you hear her screaming at me? You may not be able to hear it over the, um, it's not a vacuum cleaner, that is a lawnmower. Um, see, so he went over there because she wand. Hey, Brandy, come here. Oh, good, Osman. Oh, good, Osman. Oh, we're gonna <coughs> ignore Brandy. Oh, we're gonna ignore the crap out of her. Oh, yes, we oh, we're going to pet the Osman over here. Hi, sorry, my enthusiasm is scary. Do I be with the belly? Do I be with the belly? If she's going to ignore me, that's fine. She's not going to get anything, including my attention. Not even my eye contact, right? Brandy. Tinker. Tinker. See Tinker. Tinker. So, I want you to notice something. What I did not do and what I did do when she ignored me. Right? I asked her to come to me. She didn't do it. Ozzy came to me. That's awesome. He got lots of pets. He got lots of verbal praise. We like when dogs come to us, right? She got ignored. I did not repeat myself. What did I do? I got closer to the dog. I gave her at least 30 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds, even a minute. Do not repeat what you say to the animal, okay? Don't say their name over and over again. Do not say a verbal cue, like sit, look at me, come, their name. Do not repeat yourself, okay? When you repeat yourself, it poisons the word because that is just showing them the more times you say the word, the more times I can ignore what you're asking me to do. And guess what? I don't like being ignored. Or... I'm like Gandalf. Whoa, you shall not pass. Whoa. That foot's not getting within a foot of his face, right? It doesn't need to, right? Don't ever touch him with your legs. I feel like that goes. Uh, uh, uh. That's okay. He's going to slide in. That is my bad for not just shutting the door back. Come on, Brandy. Again, that, that failure on him was actually indeed my failure. And that's okay. Dude is out there with a leaf blower. Oh, he's in the garage with a leaf blower. Word. Got you, got you, got you. We're going to play with the door, right? This door, if he accidentally runs out this, it's all right. Right? He's got nowhere to escape out front. That's okay. We're actually going to hold off on doing that because the homie is out there with the uh, leaf blower. I'm actually just gonna shut that door and I'm gonna relock it just so I don't forget. Hi, Osman. Hi, Osman. We're gonna do something else. That's okay. If there is ever a time you have something planned for the dog and that thing is not happening at that moment, scrap it, right? trying to get him to learn how to sit he's not having it he's nervous whatever the situation is he wants to get out of it whatever don't force him to do it brandy off i want you to notice the difference between her coming up directly between me and this bag of treats and him being over there that is infinitely more polite 
than her getting in between. Good girl. That is excellent. Good girl, Brandy. Nice and calm, right? And even if I move around like this, like a football player, real fast, you can still chill out. It doesn't matter. Whatever the situation is, should be fine, right? And I'm going to do it again because this is also really good for him. And I'm just going to throw my feet around, just kind of moving around like this. Yeah, you're fine. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's totally fine. <laughs> oh, it is crazy how okay it is. Wow. Wow. We always want to keep that voice positive, right? 90% of the time, we always want to keep that voice positive. Ignoring a behavior is always going to be one of the best ways to get it to stop. Okay? You are the cutest little things. I'm going to step back. His feet are on me. That is a no. I'm going to get out of his space. No feet. Because it's disrespectful, right? It's rude. And dogs don't necessarily understand respect the same way we do, right? Just like dogs don't actually feel jealousy, dogs don't actually feel spite. We do. As people and we try to personify our animals in those types of emotions truth is they don't feel them thank you I want you to notice my face when she licked me in the face I don't want that I want you to get out of my face right my face changed it went from hey okay nice and relaxed to you need to get out of my face Dogs are incredibly sensitive. Dogs are sensitive to emotion changes that we really can't even help. Because when we start to feel, we're going to say frustrated, when we start to feel anxious, <clears throat> when we feel hungry, excuse me, when our blood sugar changes, your dog knows that. Your dog can, and that's not just service dogs. All dogs have these abilities. You don't have to have some imported $500,000 well-bred champion of a dog. Shelter months can be surface animals, right? And because we are both begging, we're not getting anything. I don't want her licking me, so I'm just moving my hand onto her chest, like, further from her face. Because the licking is just incessant when you just act. I'm going to pull my hand out from away, like away from her entirely. Don't lick me. It's enough. Thank you. Sacking a drink from a can, but there you go. Look, please. Look, you know the drill here, Suki. We're not setting a date until things are settled between us. We're just so, getting uh, calm, right? We're just calming down. I don't know. Well, what are you trying to do about it? Moving my arm out of the way of her tongue that I could see was coming towards me because I don't want to be licked right now. I do not want my arm to be licked. A couple, like, little kisses is fine, but it's a self soothing thing, too. Especially for her. Some dogs enjoy licking more than others. Um, Captain is very much the same way. If you let him give you a couple kisses and you don't set that boundary, right? Boundaries are important. Um, he will continue to lick you. He will lick you until your skin comes off. So will Brandy, right? Hey, Brandy. 
she went to lick something else because she couldn't lick me. Okay? Stop doing that. This is the G5 Dual 2.3 with a really big round upgrade. A new screen mass and ornamentation houses a huge tender big hard drive. And we got code to it too. Yeah, you can get your pet the babies. This leash is actually over here and I like that he's sniffing it and checking it out. And notice we're not sniffing my pockets. We're not yeah, trying to get into my pockets. We're just hanging out. Right? This is much better. Uh, I'm just going to poke her a couple times on the back of the neck to get her attention. You got boobies in your eyeballs. You have got crusties on your face. And she's like, I mean, you're shrinking, but like, that's okay. You just, you just won't let me get the boobies out your eyeballs because I'm not going to stop getting the boobies. I'm just going to change where my hand is and you're going to calm down and be still. Be still. He was. He was like, you should get this. And he was like, this is the last day of our once a year sale. And everything is 50% off. And he showed us this whole system. Mm -hmm. like, wow, that's a totally great idea. Huge. Is that huge? It's a totally great guy to do in Canada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He totally would have liked it. Because he was a great guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, Isn't that a much nicer way to get a dog to release to you than like doing some Caesar Milan type takedown move? Because that wiggling, right? That wiggling, that I ah, don't touch me, stop touching me, I want to move around. I need you to stop doing that, right? I need you to be calm, I need you to be still, I need you to control yourself. This is ending up more of a session for her if he's involved. Sorry about that, but like, she is also still adjusting to a new dog being in the house. And even though she's lived with another dog before, he's different. He's got an entirely different personality than an ego. He's... That's another personality in your house now, right? She's still getting used to that. And he gets a lot of attention because he demands it, right? He is a rehab case. She needs to calm down. She can't constantly be barking. She can't constantly be wiggling around, being all chaos and crazy. She needs to calm down. She can't start learning and taking up new crazy barking behaviors just because he has them. That is, in my opinion, one of the best things about having an established dog in the household when you bring in a new dog is that that new dog is supposed to learn from that established dog, right? If we can't communicate effectively that we don't want the established dog in the house to not do certain behaviors, that just tells the new dog, this is the homie to follow, right? Not the people in the house. She's in charge, right? And that's kind of how Money Penny was, you know? She was in charge, right? She gets in my pack. She's not in charge of anything. Pretty cool, huh? That was on TV. Your ears flipped over. And it is very important to give individual attention to both dogs, right? She's taking nice, deep, slow breaths. I am taking. <laughs> I am taking nice, deep, 
slow for us. Right. She needs time during the day to just decompress like this, right? And that doesn't mean if she doesn't want you to pet her, just smother her with love. But like, if you're trying to pick her eye boobies, right? Or like when we were working on desensitizing her to having her feet touched. Do her right now. I'm just gonna touch, I'm just gonna gently cup this foot in my hand. She's not trying to pull it away. Excellent. I know, sorry, that's kind of cuckoo. Also understand when you touch that hair in between their little toesies, that can tickle, right? So make full contact, right? Don't tickle them by accident. She's not pulling her. Now she's not pulling her feet away. So we're going to release them both. And just like when you're teaching a dog to walk on a leash too, right? If they're pulling, we stop. We make sure that they yield to us, right? We're not going to yield to them just whatever they want. We don't do that. We don't work quite like that. Because that's not balanced, right? That's just her thinking she can do whatever she wants. Yes, you fixed your ears yourself, didn't you? Osman. He's like, mm, you sound sleepy up here. And like she paw in my arm right there. I'm gonna ignore this. Right. You sit. That's enough. Excellent. That's bad boy bonding. That's bad boy bonding. You got your ears flipped over, bonding. And he's gonna like just pass out on the couch up there because obviously my presence is exhausting. <laughs> Osman, what's up, Os? You want to lure her this way? Good brandy. You want to lure the brandy this way? Oh yes, holy cow! We have treats down here. So this right here, he's stepping in my space. She moved, right? No one's getting anything right now. It is important, it is crucial, and it is essential that there are the same rules. She's tense. You see her head go down? You see her eyes darting around looking at him? She doesn't want him to have what she thinks is hers, right? So no one's going to get anything, okay? But like I was saying, it is essential to have the exact same rules for every dog in the house. No treats. I'm going to look away from her. I asked her to go over that way just a couple steps and she didn't do it. In fact, I'm going to close myself off more. You want to be in my space? That's all right. Get out of my space, right? She laid down. We don't allow people to press into our space, right? We don't allow ourselves to be a doormat to people. We cannot allow ourselves to be a doormat to our dog. We can't. We just cannot do that, right? We have monkey brains, giant monkey brains. We walk on two legs. We cannot allow the dog to make the rules. Ozzy! Randy, sit. Her eyes are a little red. I am going to lure him over here, right, with this hand. This is why this dual hand wielding of dog treats real important, right, when you're working two dogs. Especially when one of them in particular has never been taught, so he does not understand boundaries. And I'm just going to kind of move my hand to where he can't put his little feet on it. Right. Good job. Treats in both hands, right? 
we're going to work on some basic impulse control. She pulls her nose away. And when he started to walk over here, I just redirected him with that nose. Yes, he even turned his head towards me. I'm going to move this okay. super ultra cute dog toy. And I don't particularly care if he's sitting, standing, just participation is fun. Good boy. Good boy. And I'm not putting a verbal cue on that yet, right? One of the cool things about dual wielding treats in your hands is you can tell when she has stopped licking, right? I don't actually need to look at her. I can tell when she's pulled her nose away from the treat. How? Until she stopped licking my hand. Also, humans are really cool. We have overlapping, but we also have really good peripheral vision, right? I can look at him, and I can also kind of keep her no treats in the hand, right? Because I don't want him to invade her space either. They're not allowed to invade our space. They are not allowed to invade each other's space, okay? Boundaries, when boundaries between dogs get crossed is when you see dog-on-dog -dog aggression, right? A lot of dogs that are dog aggressive or dog reactive even, they have had a traumatic experience with another dog invading their space. One of the first questions I always ask anyone that says that their dog is dog aggressive or dog reactive or any kind of reactive towards anything, what's their experience with that, right? Have they ever had an experience where maybe a bicycle ran up or like flew past you really fast and it scared them, okay? Have they had an experience where a kid ran up and grabbed them too hard and now they don't like children? Have they had an experience where an off-leash dog came up and got right on top of them, maybe even attacked them, bit them, scared them in some way emotionally? That kind of stuff can create reactivity. If she feels he is invading her space too frequently, too often, and in a way that is too invasive, she will tell him off, right? She is a very passive dog. She is a very calm. She's not calm. She is a very... I don't know. She's a nurturing type. She's incredibly patient with him, right? You're not, there's not a mean bone in you. I really don't think. However, we do not ever, just like we don't ever want to push people just to see what they do if that happened, we never want to push a dog's buttons so far that they feel like they need to splash out in a type of reactive way, right? It's like one of the biggest reasons. A dog that has fear reactivity, not necessarily. <coughs> she came back to me. Excellent. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Hello, Sir Cass. Hello. What are you doing there? <laughs> nice and quiet. completely forgot what I was saying. Uh, as I was saying, Cass was the only one at school today. He was in another group because all his classmates got the bug. Uh, like a stomach bug or like... Yeah, the, the lady bug. told me that the bug was going around. She was like, his whole class is not here today, so he played with the babies basically. I said, oh, so none of his friends? She said, no. He was the only one, so you know, that's how they do in daycare. Sometimes like they combine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. have more children, so I was like, Oh, okay. I hope you don't get it, buddy, but what can you do? Well, yeah, I mean, what can you do? Did you have fun today? Huh? Okay. What are you doing? Yeah, I was like, ugh. I remember them days working with children in class. Oh.
Uh, Chelsea can turn it to a different thing. I don't know how to work your TV. What's wrong, Patty? He wants to watch Scooby Doo instead of whatever Melissa McCarthy thing is currently on TV. Oh yeah, sure. But before, that's what your mama said. I thought she said if you're more up watching TV, that's what we'll do. So. Hey, hey Ozzy. Sorry, I put that on there. Remember my grandma used to look it up. Good girl girls. Yeah, no, that's fine. I wasn't paying any attention to it. <laughs> he growl at him a lot. Who? This one? Yeah, does he growl at him frequently? Oh, yeah. The girl oh, did too. Okay. It's like a... Does he? This is a functional rape relationship, yeah, and I always try to tell Cass when we go outside, like, you know, don't. Hey, Cass, here, give him, yeah, give him that treat. Chase buddy. him, let's try to give him a treat to make him feel more comfortable, because, you know, that's yeah, how he was with. It's okay, don't point at it. Nico. Just, just set it there for him. Kind of thing, like. Yeah, just set it there for him, just like that. See, he took it, but he may not take it out of your hand, and that's okay, right? Yeah. Here you go. Good job, Cass. I just know, like, when I'm here half of the time, I see, like, what they do, but, you know, I can't say what goes on. Not here, but kind of like with Nico, the same thing. I don't not say he will, but remember, like when yeah, you can feed Brandy feet. some. Here, feed Brandy Poor some. Poor Nico, Nico's back and stuff, like wrestling yeah. thing. I was like, buddy, we can't do that. I'm with, you know, here, okay. You can have these for Brandy. All right, they're up here for you. Ozzy. You can take this. But you know, like when we're outside and stuff, you know, he kind of like. Well, I guess they said like he got used to the Jeep thing, but Cass is like ready to. Um, Shall we have it? chase him and run him around so that's why me and Cass like transition to do something else and just, keep him out the box that's why I always like let's no, do something else that just makes me very nervous because that can very quickly become when you left on the set the treat lady left <laughs> it was you the treat lady you said yeah probably that makes me very nervous that he growls at them um yeah kind of the Walk over yeah. here and show her you have it. Type of a, hey, I'm a tiny type walk her of over thing. There? And, and I mean, it, he's very fearful. And an animal that is fearful yeah. is an animal yeah. that hey, is unpredictable. Yeah. Well, yeah, he yeah, can have those treats. Yeah, but look, feed those to there you go. You're occupied with that. But um, yeah, that's why I always transition for us to do something else and keep him. That's yeah. what I like doing to keep his mind off of. But it is really important that, like, I know he's very young. And it's very yeah, difficult. Him and Mari both. Well, but like it's a, they're both very intelligent, but it's difficult mm -hmm. for them to like understand. Like just then, he may not want to take it out of your hand, but also him putting his face right in front of this dog, Chelsea. Mm -hmm. That's terrifying to me because that is, you see those eyes, you see those, you see. Yeah, you're observing, kind of like I am, type of thing. All oh, the I know. Time. I did with Mari yesterday when she spazzed that have her little meltdowns. I'm sure, like you've seen it before. Like she did. Remember when I told you like he bit Brandy? Well, yesterday she took Brandy's whole. Like side of the skin and just like got mad and took the frustration out. Like Brady, I was like, you can't do that, Mari. I said, remember when you guys bit? I was like, y'all can't harm the dogs. I said, cause then they're not gonna feel love. You know, I try to encourage in a way to not do that to them. I always do. Not that I ever try to put them to in the wrong, cause I always feel say I don't want them to ever feel like that. But there's a but way the to. Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah. Kind of like I hope he don't do it him like how he used to do with me. But other time, like. Attacking. Boom, jumps on his back, kind of collapsed like a thing, but... That, but Anigo had back problems. I understand he said one time she came in here and he was stepping on her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I just don't shame no game, but I'm not going to lie. I mean, he, do <laughs> he does. Well, yeah, no, and, like, that's the thing, but a kid has to be taught to not... I realize that I'm still...